Hey everyone, welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug that we administer out in the field. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today's medication is called phenytoin. I've also heard it pronounced phenytoin. Its brand name is probably what it's known by more, which is Dilantin. It falls under the class of anticonvulsants and anti-epileptics. Your mechanism of action is that it goes in and it targets the voltage-dependent sodium channels. So by targeting these specific sodium channels, it reduces and or slows down the impulses of the brain. And this hopefully results in the prevention of seizures. This is definitely not indicated for all seizures. Your indication are going to be prolonged seizures or seizures with epilepsy. It may or may not be in the paramedic scope in your state, but it may be approved for long distance transports or even flight EMS. So it is definitely something that I want to go over. As always, before we get into dosages, make sure you're abiding by your local protocol and staying within your scope of practice. Like I said, this is not something that you see in the 911 EMS field, um, but you're typically sent with medical direction or uh, physician's orders whenever you take this medication specifically specifically on a long distance transport or if you're an air ambulance, etc. For your seizures, for an adult, 10 to 20 milligrams per kilogram slow IV or IO push with a max of one gram. Pediatric seizures are also 10 to 20 milligrams slow IV or IO push. Contraindications for this medication are obviously always hypersensitivity, bradycardia, and high degree heart blocks. Adverse reactions of Dilantin are dizziness, drowsiness, headache, hypotension, respiratory depression, CNS depression, vasodilation, heart blocks, you could have nausea and vomiting, and nystagmus. Drug interactions. It does potentiate cardiac depressant effects with lidocaine, calcium channel blockers, and also beta blockers. It is typically supplied in a 50 milligram in one ml vial, but there are different concentrations. A few side notes about Dilantin. It can cause irritation to the vein, so it is important to try to locate a larger vein if possible and flush the line well before and after administration. And like I mentioned, you're not going to have to worry about actually starting the line and giving Dilantin in the ambulance, um, but you do want to make sure if you're taking it on a transport that whatever vein you have, you it looks like a big healthy vein and that it's patent at all times. Your peak effect is approximately one to three hours after administration, and cardiac and vital signs should should be monitored. Because Dilantin has been known to have effects on the heart, it's important to have constant cardiac monitoring. As always, remember to abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. This video is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of medical direction, local protocol, or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!